Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this very, very mild yet rather grey March day we're doing some walk around videos of our new and used stock and this particular one has just come in and it's a brand new model for 2021. It's a Compass Concerto 250. Now, Compass are part of the Explorer group who are part of Heimer. Heimer are Germany's premier motorhome group renowned for building some of the best motorhomes in the world and uh, they are the owners of various other companies including Compass Eldis in the UK and this Concerto 250 is a new flagship model from them so built in the northeast of England this is an island bed low profile so no over cab bed um, that's built for British tastes so it's a, a rare if not unique layout of a comfortable twin sofa lounge at the front with seat belts which we'll show you on the inside and a lovely low comfortable island bed that you don't have to climb a ladder to get into and it's three and a half tons so this is about 7.4 meters long uh, about 2.3 wide normal width and um, three and a half ton which is the important thing so three and a half ton maximum permissible loading weight can be registered at higher if you have the driving license and desire to do so but three and a half ton it's got a workable payload of over 400 kilos and it's about as nice and most luxurious comfortable opulent van for two and sometimes guests it is a four berth with four seat belts as you will find this particular one is priced just over the 60,000 pound mark Based on the Fiat Ducato, it has the brilliant 9-speed fully automatic ZF uh, gearbox, which is superb. Uh, it's the same as you'll find in Range Rovers, BMWs, but with an extra gear, so it's actually even better than they use. And it's a brilliant thing for the motorhomer and very desirable on the resale. So Concerto is a two-model range, and this is the Island Bed one, which is the most popular one. Uh, looks stunning. It's got the Fiat alloy wheels on this one. It's got the, the blue, silvery blue sides, which look really, really smart. Uh, it's low profile with the panoramic roof light at the front. It's a good-looking van. Looking at the cab, so Fiat Cato 2.340 horsepower, which propels it at a good rate of knots. Really, really nice. Got the Fiat alloy wheels. We've got full colour coding and a silver style pack bumper on the front there. LED daytime running lights and the uh, indicators mounted in the mirrors for better visibility. We'll have a little walk around the uh, the driver's side first. It's a UK van, so the habitation door is on the UK side, on the passenger side, which is good for British campsites. And uh, say this one is an island bed, which is generally a European layout, but very, very popular because you can access it from both sides. Um, but this one's got a nice, comfortable British style to it with a decent kitchen, decent lounge. Having a look at the inside here, so we've got a DAB Bluetooth stereo system, cab air conditioning, cruise control. If you want a reversing camera fitted, we will fit it with a neat mirror mounted monitor. We've got cab Remis blinds on the windscreen and the side windows and uh, built on the Fiat Motome chassis which is very very stable it's got a wider back axle lower suspension for extra stability which is really nice um, auto stop start technology eco pack as standard as well and uh, aircon cruise twin airbags so bluetooth stereo for your music and your phone calls DAB with steering wheel controls for that as well this particular one has the very rare full leather, real leather, soft leather as well, soft cream leather interior which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a real feeling of, of opulence which is, which is lovely. So you can see the blue sides there look very very smart. Double glazed tinted windows all the way around. Thep set toilet locker so there's a lounge at the front, mid bathroom, big fridge freezer here those are the vents for it that runs off electric if you're hooked up like we are now gas if you're not and it runs off the engine when you're driving one of the bedroom windows there so we've got mains hookup and a 100 amp hour leisure battery under slung fresh and waste water tanks which you can drain off through the blue tap there for your fresh tank and the gray tap for the waste tank they're about 100 liters or so in size pre-fitted for a bike rack on the rear so very easy to add one of those Around the back, we've got the external storage. So it is a lower bed, so it doesn't have a big garage. Plus side of that is you don't have to put the bed up or down or climb into bed. Um, negative of that, there isn't as much storage as in some vans, but if you have your bikes on a bike rack, there's enough room to shove some chairs and things in there. You've got a freestanding table, so you don't need to carry another table for the outside. You can put that inside or out. On the back as well, you've got your fresh water fill up point for filling up your fresh water tank. 
And we've got this flue here, which is for your heating and hot water. And you'll notice that says Aldi. Now Aldi are a Swedish company and they build uh, luxurious wet radiator domestic style heating systems for caravans and motorhomes. So instead of having blown air heating like most vans, uh, this has got Aldi. So it's got a network of radiators running all the way around the van, uh, just like your house has. Digitally controlled, you can set your temperature or set a timer and leave it to it. And that will pump uh, warmed liquid throughout the van and give you a very soft, ambient um, just lovely heating. I've got it in my own van and once you've had it you wouldn't want blown air heating. It's a fantastic heating system, best on the market and normally only seen in luxury top of the range vans like this one. On the roof you'll see a digital compatible TV aerial as standard and then coming around the passenger side, the near side, we've got a gas locker there for two gas bottles. They're not included, you'll need a couple of Cala gas bottles or we can fit refillables. There's room for a couple of sixes in there. Another bedroom window, kitchen window, and then we've got a couple of service hatches here. We've got an external socket, and we've got an external TV point with a 12 volt socket as well. Now that's really useful if you're on a campsite in a poor signal area, you might find they've got an on-site TV booster you can plug into. That's where you'd plug it in. Uh, and also if you're outside, so if you're outside sat around and you're hooked up to the mains and you want to run some things on electric, outside cooking things, whatever, you can just plug into there and away you go, easy peasy. So that's nice and factory fitted. And then we've also got here a gas barbecue point as well. So instead of taking one of your gas bottles out to run your gas barbecue, if you're barbecuist, you can just plug straight into there and that will run on the gas from your gas bottle over there. Nice door with a flush fit window, a uh, centrally locked door and another lounge window there. So as we open the door it takes you into the middle of the van. You can find your door's got a bin in it and it's got double lock in front and bottom for extra security. And then we've got a fly screen there as well. Now you can see here one of the Aldi radiators. So what they've done is they've cleverly run the radiators in front of any doors. So not that you get drafts through these doors but you created a warm curtain of warm air there uh, amongst other places so it'll be a very very nice cozy van year round this is a grade 3 fully winterized van so that means it's been tested to minus 20 and it's got three hours to heat itself up to plus 15 and maintain it using its onboard heating systems and this van has passed that test which is the top level of winterization so looking around on the inside here we come straight into the front lounge we'll find a lovely British style twin sofa front lounge. So bedecked in full soft leather, both your cab seats will swivel all the way around. You've got cab carpets and full habitation carpets. There's a bit of hidden storage and a leisure battery compartment underneath of there. Underneath both of these seats, if you've got passengers with you, obviously side facing sofas don't have seats. So traditionally you had to have forward facing um, seats to get seat belts um, but on these it's very cleverly got if I can just drop this locker door down it's got fold up seat belted passenger seats so underneath the here you can see they're all covered up at the moment but that is an Agouti German uh, flip up crash tested seat belted seat you can see another Aldi radiator over there as well so what you do is you'd fold this side sofa up chuck your cushions back on the bed that bit folds down and then you pull a couple of levers and you've got a constructed seat belted seat. There's one of those on either side. Now, if you're never gonna use them or you're gonna use them very infrequently, uh, you can just unbolt them if you're handy and then you've got more storage space underneath the sofas if you wanted to do that. If you're never gonna use them at all, we can take them out and just give them to you. Um, and then you can keep them in your garage for if and when you ever sell the van onwards. Smart looking thing with the panoramic roof light at the front. You've got some storage either side of that as well. Big hecky roof light above and then four high level storage cupboards which are curved and really deep. More Aldi radiators along there to again to create a curtain of, of warm air along the front there. We've got a TV point at the front there. We can fit you a telly bracket on there if you want a front TV, uh, two main sockets and a 12 volt socket as well for charging your phones and things and a TV point. You've got concertina blinds and fly screens, which are the more expensive ones on all the windows. 
So the fly screen comes down after the blind, as you can see there. They're very smooth and uh, they don't rattle as much as when you're driving than the cheaper ones. And we've got up lighters, down lighters and spotlights all throughout as well, which is very, very nice. Lots and lots of floor space, as you can see there. Small step up into the cab area to, uh, to level the cab off. Now this area simply pulls and slides together to make a transverse double bed. You could, if you wanted to, pull them out and line them up with the cab seats and make a lengthways bed. Now this one might be a little bit small, but it'd be all right for a kid, whereas this side would be a full size sort of six foot sofa. But when you're lounging in an evening, swivel your cab seats all the way around, put your feet up on your opulent soft leather seats. Really, really nice. Looking back down the van, this is where the Europeans let themselves down in the British Excel. We've got a really good kitchen. So we've got a big kitchen here, extra lift up workspace on the end. Got your habitation dining table there. Now that is freestanding, so you can take it out and put it here, or you can put it outside the van for when you're outside. You've also got a concertina blind, which segregates the lounge from the rear of the van. So if you are going with other people, you can just pull that all the way across, and that will cut the front off from the rear of the van and give you a bit of privacy. Also means you can cut the rear off and use it as a dressing area if you like as well. Coming into the kitchen, we've got a big oven, separate grill, and on top we've got three gas burners and one mains electric, really good for the chef. A couple of sockets there for your kettle and such like. Microwave up high and plenty of storage cupboards as well for all of your plates and crockery and things like that in there. Nice deep sink with a big chopping board sort of uh, worktop on top of it as well. And then lots of extra drawer storage, pot storage, drawer storage there as well. So it's a really good kitchen, much better than the European vans tend to have. Opposite the kitchen, you'll find your big slimline fridge freezer, which is very smart going up there. This is what they call an automatic energy selecting one. So all you do is you select the auto mode and leave it on that. And then that will deal with how to run it itself. So all you do is switch it on and off and then if you can work out how to get into it, there you go. You've got a really, really big fridge freezer that will run off mains if you hook up. If you unhook, it will run off the gas in your gas bottle. And when you start the engine, it will switch automatically to, uh, to run off the engine. You can, I believe, change this door to open from either side as well. It's a double, a double hinged one. I don't actually know how to do it, but you can, do, you can do that if you wish. Now, looking back to the bedroom area, this is the big selling point of this van. So you've got a very, very big, very low island bed, um, which gives you class leading level of um, comfort. So that's at my knee height there. I'm six foot, so I could just step into that very, very easy. It's a lovely place. Now, this is in, down in the flat position at the moment, and I've still got plenty of room to walk around the foot of the bed. However, if you want to, you can just push that back, the backrest will come up, and then you can sit up in bed and read. You've got more space around the foot of the bed, so if you wanted to during the day, you can shove the bed up and gain some more living space. I don't think you really need to, but if you want to, you can. This particular one comes with a factory bedding set as well, which is nice. Um, always tricky to get fitted sheets for these, so this has got fitted sheets as part of the package. You can see either side of the bed, you've got more Aldi radiator vents there and there again to create curtains of warm air, soft ambient heat, really, really nice. And for ventilation, you've got two big opening side windows and a big roof light, as well as another roof light above the kitchen and the two roof lights at the front. So plenty of light, plenty of uh, ventilation. Hers and hers wardrobes, both very large on either side. Two high level storage cupboards above the bed and we've got USB charging points over there for your phone and a couple of reading lights above your bed as well. This side, shall we call it the ladies side, being slightly stereotypical but you've got three extra drawers, you've got this nice vanity unit down there and you've got a TV point. So if you wanted a bedroom TV you can just have one freestanding 19 inch TV on there and you've got an extra mirrored storage cupboard up there as well so a great place for for the lady or the gentleman to sit there do your hair and your makeup before you go out really really smart down the blue oyster club of a weekend so that's the bedroom fantastic bedroom really nice kitchen You've got a lovely lounge so four foot sofa three foot sofa twin swivel cab seats um bathroom 
We'll, we'll have a look under the bed at the storage from the inside in a moment. Now, bathroom, no separate shower in this van, but it does create a separate shower space simply by pulling a curtain across there, and then the rest of it is, is all shower space. Most of the time, you're probably going to find you'll be using the on-site facilities anyway, but if you are using the shower in the van, it's absolutely fine. You've got the shower attachment there. You've got a nice, deep, freestanding basin. Big mirror. Big opening skylight with a rail that you can use to hang things to drip dry in there as well. And you've even got down there a radiator stroke heated towel rail that runs off of your Aldi uh, heating system. And you've got more closed drying space above that as well. And a two door uh, cupboard for all of your shower and uh, smelly stuff in there. It's a nice bathroom. Now storage, we saw it a bit from the outside, but it's very easy to come in, grab the grab handle and simply give it a very easy lift up. It's all on gas struts. You can see how that slid back there as well. That does the backrest. And you can see underneath of there, you've got a good bit of storage. So your boiler's underneath the bed. That'll give you some residual heat in the winter as well. Battery charger and water pumps. These are all the carpets for the van. Now obviously you're either gonna have them down or you're gonna have them at home. They're not gonna be living underneath the bed. And that gives you all of that space there where you'll fit in folding chairs, uh, you don't need a table, but windbreak, barbecue in there, little Kadak barbecue there, a couple of freestanding folding chairs in there as well, and all of your other general bits and bobs. Nearer the door, I would put my mains cable and my levelling blocks that would fill that space there. And then that's enough storage for two and sometimes for four to do everything you need uh, without having to put the bed up a step ladder. And so easy to get to, both from the inside and the outside. So this is she, she's the Compass Concerto 250. Uh, I've only got a couple of these left for the year. This one is available. Um, it's also the only one you're likely to see this year at all with full leather, really, really nice feature. Uh, it's got the automatic gearbox. It's got the Fiat alloy wheels. We can fit all in, bike crack, anything else you want to it. Uh, price of this one to this factory spec, just over 60. And that comes with full manufacturer warranties, including a three year warranty from Fiat, a three year warranty on the conversion side of things from Heimer Group. Uh, and a 10 year body shell warranty. These are not screwed together, they are bonded together. So all of the windows, all of the joins, they are bonded together using a, a bonding agent, which is the same bonding agent exactly as Airbus use, and Airbus actually bond the wings of their jets together. Uh, so it's pretty strong stuff, and that's why you get a 10 year body shell warranty. So it doesn't guarantee it will never ever get damp or leak, but if it does, you're covered for 10 years, and it's much less likely to get, to, uh, get, get in that manner than the older. Um, traditional construction vans so probably unique layout out there low bed twin sofa lounge with seat belts leather seats auto gearbox com compass concerto 250 from the Irwin Heimer group 2021 this is at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch we are here to answer any questions through lockdown you can contact us by phone but the phones are diverted to Somerset so please ask to speak to the Devon Branch as this is our van down here you can contact us by email through the website you can email me direct at jw4 at highbridgecaravans.co.uk uh, or you can comment if you've seen this video on YouTube and we will see that sooner or later and respond to it so the Cumbridge Concerto 250 at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. Branch. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.